What is up everybody and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be unboxing the WWE Ultimate Edition Attitude Era Ring. Again, this is a scale to size that also includes the Ultimate Edition Kane figure as well. This is an awesome, awesome set. As you can see just right off the packaging, you see Kane in the middle there. Of course, you know, he's one of the big players of the Attitude Era. And then we turn to this side, you can see just the size of this box is pretty big. In the back side, of course, they have to include Kane on there. Uh, then you have the Attitude Era ring. Uh, it says Raw is War. I mean, this is the time that I started getting into wrestling, so I'm also excited to unbox this playset as well. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so right here you can see all the accessories ticking out. Of course, you're going to see the main one here. Uh, the Ultimate Edition Attitude Era Kane, the big red machine. Uh, but we're going to definitely review and unbox this in another video. But here's how that box looks like. Awesome, awesome. Again, this is part of that um, exclusive cane and the Ultimate Edition Attitude Era. So let's go ahead and put this to the side and let's look at the accessories. So here's all the components to build the WWE Raw is War Ring. We do have instructions right here. Uh, we're going to take a look at that as we built them. And then you have the ropes right here. So you have the plank, which is a wood. This is awesome because this, you can do a lot of variations with it. You know, you can expose the hardwood, have them the suplex on there. Then of course, we're going to have the, the ring mat itself here as well. So let's go ahead and start building this. All right, so it looks like the first part here is actually putting the outside of the ring together. And these just snap into place, as you're going to see in the corner here. They snap it in place. So literally, you're just going to snap them in here and you start building the outline itself. And they go just like that. So you can already see how big this ring is going to be. I believe this is going to be 20 by 20 a ring itself the next thing he's asked for is going to put in the actual plywoods there are three of these um, again what i like about putting these ultimate edition rings together is just kind of like the authenticity and the feel of it putting one by one piece by piece in as well so what you're going to do is take these parts here and they're actually going to snap into place at each of these corners here so you're going to take one and just push it down and once you hear that snap it's good to go there we go next one i'm going to put it on there you're going to hear that snap and then it's going to be good to go. There we go. So make sure everything snaps into place because obviously you don't want this to be loose, right? You want it to be strong. Ring itself here. If you want to make sure everything is into place. So there we go. So now we have the plywood on there. And then we have the all the ring, the support around this. Again, one of the things about this is that, see how it gives you that kind of real authenticity feel, kind of bouncy. That's the kind of ring spring that you want, right? Now that we have that, the next thing it's asking for is actually we're gonna put the mat on there as well. And so here's the mat, uh, we're actually gonna put it on. This fabric feels pretty cool. Uh, gives you this like that cloth uh, feeling of it as well. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure this is tight. Uh, so that way it covers all the ring, so there's no loose stretches as well. So with this, what it does have is gonna have each of its components on here, markers. We're going to turn it around, and once you turn it around, um, you're going to see where we're going to connect those to make it give that grip tight. So you're going to hold on to the ring, flip it over, just like that. Okay, so once you have it flipped over, make sure you do is you want to connect all the components on here. So this is going to go to the bottom there. This hole, there's a knot right there, just going to slide over it. So there we have it there. So we have the ring mat on there as well, as well as the actual, the bottom, the hardwood, and then the sort of surrounding support areas as well. So the next thing we're gonna put on here is the ring base, uh, which are the legs that allows the support here. So you have two, these are on the outer. So these are going on each of the corners and there's a couple in the middle. And then here's the actual huge component that holds the actual legs itself. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so again, we have this flipped over. So these smaller ones are gonna go on the, each of the outer legs there to give that, that extra support. And there's bigger ones here gonna go on the inside. 
all right so we got all the outer legs in there nice and support again make sure you push all the way because you want to give that strong support on there next thing you're going to do is the actual the bigger uh, air post here these are going to go in the actual in the middle which is going to hold that ring itself when you're doing your maneuvers <music> So now that we have all the support, the legs at the bottom here, what we want to do now is turn it around so you can see that as well. If you ever see the height of it, it's amazing. The bottom there as well. So this does give you that extra support on there. Uh, well, it's no longer as bouncy as it was before, but still gives you that authenticity feel that uh, it's a ring and these are made out of wood. All right, so now that we have the ring base, the mat, uh, the su support beam around it, the next thing we're gonna connect is the ring post along with the ring skirt that goes around it, okay? And there's a reason why you want to do this together because as you put in this, uh, the ring post will actually go in between here. That'll give us a hold it and give us support. So that's why you want to do them uh, together as you go. All right, so now that we have the ring post, the ring skirt, so it was the ring mat, and then the plywood at the bottom, the base all around it, the next thing we're gonna add is actually gonna be the ring ropes themselves here. But the ring ropes here, it does have that WWE logo on it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I just wish it had the WWF, obviously they can't do that, but uh, nevertheless, this is padded. Uh, it does include pad on there. Pretty nice and tight here with the metal, and then it just has the hook on here. So let's go ahead and put that on each of the corners. Obviously, you want to start at the bottom, and then you want to work your way up um, with connecting the ropes themselves here. So let's go ahead and do that. So this awesome play set, um, again we connected the ropes on there as well along with the padded area as well here. Uh, it's got one last thing uh, we're going to connect here and then we can take a look at the whole ring itself here. And that's going to be the stairs. So this is two uh, piece or so breakaway two piece. Of course you can't have a ring without the stairs so this is a classic black uh, ring steps that it has on here. This just goes on top and connects it on there. Awesome. So you just place it at the corner and that's how it would look like we place it at the corner of the ring itself here so that's how that looks like all right so now that we have the ring all completely set up uh, let's take a look at some of the components of it here as well again this is an awesome play set this is the uh, motel creations ultimate edition uh added to air ring that includes cane with it but again as i said we'll unbox that in another video but just take a look at the details that this has from the ring post all the way to the ring skirt the raw is war brings you back to the attitude era so this is the ring uh, with some wwe mattel figures on here so you can kind of get a scale to size as far as how big the ring actually is um, on here. So I have these four figures here. Of course, you have Stone Cold. Um, you have Triple H and the Godfather, as well as the Big Show, Paul White. So you can see the size comparison, how it is. So it reaches the Big Show on there as well. And then the Stone Cold does reach him on, on the back of the side. As you can see how big the scale is as well. But thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave some comments. Until next time, buddy, have a good one.